I'm a little late to the party on this, but truth is, I've been, uh, you know, kind of had my head in the sand here the last week or two, and I just now found out about this. Dean Guitars, uh, apparently that lawsuit with Gibson that I talked about a couple of months ago, apparently that judge wasn't quite done. Uh, just to recap here, a couple of months ago, it was, you know, if you're familiar with, uh, you know, the, the whole uh, Gibson Guitars lawsuit against Dean Guitars slash Armadillo. Armadillo is Dean's parent company. If you're not familiar with that whole lawsuit, there's all kinds of, you know, you know use your Google machine. I've done several videos on it here myself. Well, a couple of months ago, the, uh, you know, the, the lawsuit finally came to a head. Gibson was seeking millions, and I mean millions of dollars, uh, from Armadillo for Gibson's, uh, you know, or I'm sorry, for, uh, you know, for Dean's use of Gibson's Explorer and Flying V shapes, among others. Well, instead of the millions, the judge awarded Gibson $4,000 and, uh, you know, Evan Rubenstein, the then CEO of Dean Guitars, uh, was, uh, you know, basically jumping for joy and celebrating, you know, saying this is a big, big win for Dean. You know, and to be fair, at the, you know, at the time, given all the information that was available, you know, I, you know, we see, all seemed to believe so, and uh, you know, we thought that was pretty much going to be the end of it, uh, because that was all that was in the judge's ruling. Well, here a couple months later, now apparently the judge has ruled uh, as an, I, an additional ruling of that lawsuit. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't know they could do this, but I'm not a lawyer. Now, the judge has also ruled that Gibson must now halt production on the Grand Sport, that's their, S, their, uh, their SG style model, uh, the Z, which is their Explorer style model, uh, the V, which obviously is their Flying V model, as well as a few other models. Dean must now halt production on that period end. I am really shocked that this has happened because and again i'm not i'm not a lawyer or a legal expert of any kind but you know the way that i understand intellectual property if somebody is using your intellectual property without your express permission you know if the owner of said intellectual property wants to maintain ownership of said intellectual property they must defend it uh you know through the legal channels and not only that but they must defend it pretty much at the time uh that it's discovered not four decades later, you know, <laughs> what am I talking about there? Well, you know, Dean Guitars, is, you know, have been producing the Z and the V and, uh, you know, the Grand Sport's a newer model, but the Z and the V in particular, as well as the headstock shapes that uh, the Gibson were, uh, that were, they were part of the lawsuit. Dean had been producing all of that stuff since the late 70s. To put that into perspective, Gibson was still owned, still owned by Norland. If you want to put that into further perspective, I was born in 1977. I'm 44 years old as I record this. And that's right about the time that Dean started producing those guitars. <laughs> so Gibson waited essentially an entire, you know, my entire lifetime to file this lawsuit. I didn't think that they had a prayer of winning, but apparently the judge seems to have uh, felt otherwise. And despite the intellectual property statute of limitations equivalent, whatever it's called, uh, has still gone ahead and ruled in Gibson's favor. Not only that, but they are also, I believe, are also ruling that uh, Armadillo must pay Gibson's legal fees that are three hundred thirty-nine thousand dollars or something like that. It's a, you know, it's a, uh, it's a pretty sizable number for, you know, for, uh, uh, you know, for a small company. Not only that, but now Evan Rubinson, the again now former CEO of Dean Guitars slash Armadillo has been ousted, apparently by his own mother, uh, who has also filed a lawsuit against him. Uh, and, the, and his mother, Pamela, is now the new CEO of Armadillo. You know, it seems that Evan Rubinson may have celebrated a wee bit too early. Uh, it's, you know, honestly, that's too bad. I, you know, I, 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 I really hate hearing about this because I like Dean Guitars. Uh, you know, initially, I thought that they were going to, uh, you know, I mean, they could just, you know, do what, like, you know, ESP did with the, you know, with their snake bite shape, you know, tweak the shape just a little bit, you know, on their Z, on their Z model, you know, get around the copyright stuff and, you know, off we go. Uh, apparently, you know, that I, I, you know, and maybe that will still happen. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, they've lost a lot of their core, you know, their core models, you know, the Z, the V, 
Uh, you know, let's not forget about the you know the lawsuit that they uh, you know that they've endured recently from the uh, you know from Dimebag Daryl's estate. Uh, so now they can't produce the Razorback anymore. Uh, you know, either any of the Razorback designs. You know, they've lost those as well. You know, now they've lost the Grand Sport, which is their SG model. Uh, you know, among others. You know, they've also had some of their big name artist and uh, artist endorsers that have jumped ship. Dave Mustaine, Michelangelo Badio, to name you know to name a few. Uh, you know, they've managed to uh, to pick up a few others as well. Uh, you know, such as Kerry King. You know, I think you know, and you know, I, sp I suppose, and again, I don't know. I suppose they could go and you know, again, tweak each of these designs, maybe rename them, uh, and you know, and put them back out, and you know, call it what it is. Uh, or they may have to just completely reinvent themselves altogether from the ground up. You know, come out with some completely new designs, uh, and you know, go from there. You know, I hope honestly, I hope to see Dean recover because it's you know quite honestly it is quite the shitstorm cluster fuck <laughs> uh, going on at you know at Armadillo slash Dean Guitars right now. Uh, yeah, and it's and it's sad to see because that's a that's a guitar company that has been around for you know forty or fifty years now, and uh, you know they produced a lot of great instruments for a lot of people. You know, they've still got some pretty big names on their auto, on their artist roster. They do still seem to be producing guitars and very you know good guitars, by the way. You know they're not putting out garbage. You know, but they they they're definitely they're gonna feel this one for you know for the next few years. So I will be very interested to see what uh, what kinds of new models uh, that they come out with here in the future. So I don't know. I I'm just I'm I'm shocked. This entire lawsuit just completely flipped on its head and nothing went the way that I thought it was going to. So, uh, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a legal expert. You know, I don't, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just a guy watching from the sidelines. So, so to everybody at Dean Guitars, including Evan Rubinson, uh, you know, my, my best wishes are with you. I hope that you are able to get this turned around for you. You know, I will say that I, you know, there is, I am a little bit concerned now about, you know, what is going to happen with the rest of the guitar industry, you know, because, you know, especially, you know, Gibson being the big dogs, uh, you know, they're the biggest, biggest company, the biggest brand in the industry, you know, but they also seem to be the only ones that, that uh, really, really give a shit about suing other companies for using uh, their designs. You know, if this does, you know, if this Dean lawsuit does set a precedent, uh, we may see a shockwave, you know, hit the rest of the industry and, you know, I don't know if that happens. Uh, I don't know. You know that that may be, you know, it may be good for Gibson's production, but I'm not sure it's going to be real good for their, you know, for their uh, their public relations, uh, which seem to be pretty shaky here at the moment already. You know, so there may be a lot of other guitar companies out there right now, Dean Schecker, Ibanez, uh, among others, that might be about ready to start shitting their pants if Gibson decides to start handing out lawsuits to everybody like this.